Okay, this fight is what I really want to see. Boxing is really on the rise this year. It's so much amazing good fights. I don't know what's happened with boxing, but Terrence Crawford is going to face uh, Julius Ndongo. They're both undefeated fighters. I don't know. If you guys don't know who Terrence Crawford is by now, you're clearly not a boxing fan. You must be an MMA fan or some casual fan. Um, I can understand you not knowing Julius Ndongo, but Julius Ndongo is another undefeated. He holds three belts. Uh, they're both uh, um, title holders in the perspective division. The, whoever wins this match will be the undisputed super light featherweight champion, having the WBC, having the WBO, WBA, IBF, IBO championship, all the main belts. And so whoever wins, wins will be the undisputed. When I say undisputed, meaning holding all the belts in the same division. This has not happened in like years. When I say years, it's not happened since like maybe 10, 20. I don't, know, I don't even know who the last undisputed, you know, uh, champion was, you know. But this is a very big deal for Terrence Crawford. Julian Sandanko is no slouch. He's a very tough opponent for Terrence Crawford. Um, Julian Sandanko is a dude. He doesn't get tired. He's well-conditioned. He has good technique, good footwork, good skill. But in the end, Terrence Crawford is on a whole nother level. Terrence Crawford is a big dude for that weight class. Terrence Crawford has amazing stamina. Terrence Crawford is the creme of la creme in skill. The best footwork, best skill, best power, He's, it's like you're fighting a cheat code. You're not going to beat Terrence Crawford. I'm sorry. Julius Ndongo, though, it will be a good match, though. It's, it's not going to be no slouch. It's not going to be an easy win. Terrence Crawford is going to pull all the trick, tricks to win. He's going to have to do a lot. I don't even think it's going to be by knockout. It's going to go 12 rounds. But Ju Terrence Crawford will win by skill, by understanding how to win the judges. Because these guys are clearly not going to get knocked out. Julian Zendong hasn't been knocked out, period. He has a very strong tendon. He's not going to knock the dude out. He doesn't get tired. He's an African dude. But he's like those African runners from Ken. They don't get tired at all. They fight. Uh, they keep on fighting. Terrence Crawford is going to do a lot. But he needs this win. Once he wins, if he beats Julian Zendongo, he should be considered pound for pound number one. The reason why I say this is because he'll be um, the only champion in any division that is undisputed, holding all the belts, WBC, WBA, IBO, IBF, um, all the belts, all five of the belts. He's going to take all the belts from Julius Ndongo. He will be the champion. Terrence Crawford needs this, and I believe after he beats uh, Julius Ndongo, he's going to go to the welterweight division, 147, where all the killers are. And if he goes up to the 147... You know, I think he'll be respected more, and I, I feel he'll win all the belts there, too, even though there's a lot of killers, such as Keith Thurman, Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia's not a champion anymore. I'm just saying his name because he's a welterweight. Um, who else? Uh, Errol Spence Jr. is pretty good. Uh, who else? Uh, Sean Porter. Sean Porter's not a champion, but he's a very... He'll be soon to be champ. He'll win a championship eventually welterweight. He'll, he's going to get a shot. Um, who else? Um, that, well, that bum, Jeff Horn, who stole the belt from Manny Pacquiao. He's a bum. Uh, who else? Um, there's a lot of killers, though. There's a lot of killers. Even the dudes that aren't, like, champions and contenders, they're still pretty good in that division. All I'm going to say is Terrence Crawford will defeat him. It's going to be a very tough event, but it's going to be a very good event. Undisputed championship on the line. Whoever wins will be undisputed. The loser, there is no loser in this match, because even if you lose, it's like you're losing against the best. So, but I'm well. Terrence Crawford will, if he loses, it'll hurt his stock a lot. But if Julius Ndongo loses, he'll still be respected because he lost to Terrence Crawford. He didn't lose to a bump. But I just can't wait for this fight to start, and I'm glad that boxing's finally allowing none of this cherry picking. The champions are fighting the champions. Undisputed championship on the line. Let's go.